Kyoto. This is my second. The smoking room drink. Ten is for passengers in the green cars. I'm drinking regular coffee, and for some reason, they don't have uh, oat milk or any other milk except the whole. And I'm kind of worried because I never drink the whole milk latte. And here they only sell whole milk latte except maybe in Starbucks. But I didn't have time to find Starbucks. So. It tastes like. Guess what this would taste like? Uh, Маленько у меня тоже дома было проигрывать или такое.
in Kyoto. And today we're gonna do two main, th three main things. We're gonna see the orange red archways, which I think everyone knows about yeah, our. We're going right now. Yeah, we're here already. We're going to Nara Park to see the deer. And then we're gonna go to a traditional tea ceremony. <laughs> We're at Toshimi Inari Teisha, a Shinto shrine in Kyoto. It's famously known for the hundreds and hundreds of orange archways that you see behind me. We're walking up the Inari mountain, which I believe historically they prayed to for rice and agriculture. So that's kind of cool. What are you looking at? Big spider. I don't want him to fall on me because I'm afraid of spiders. But it's overall this this uh, place is beautiful. Very cool. So we're in Nara Park and we're feeding the deer. Yes. The deer yes. that know how to bow and they make noises. Look, well, let's see, can you bow? Thank you. Look at that. Look at my hair. I got my hair done. Pretty. <laughs> Just good. 
and we're going <laughs> and we're going to tea room try some tea try some kimono right there grinding sesame seeds to make our breading for the cutlets. So we first we grind it and then we select the sauce and we put the sauce in and they make our cutlet. It's as simple as that. Kyoto and today we're going to the bamboo forest I think we've done pretty much every major thing this will be the last one should be fun should be scenic it's pretty I made a mistake. <laughs> I bought uh, 
We went to the ramen store. It's an Ichiran ramen, so you get your own ramen. And it came with a noodle refill, and I ended up buying an extra noodle, ref noodle refill. So I had three noodle refills. So ne next time, I think you'll know how to use it. At least I, I know you. how to use it. I helped you with noodles a little bit. And she helped me. <laughs> Sushi joint. <laughs> On our last morning in Kyoto. We decided to go to a temple. Actually, we decided to walk around randomly and we came across a temple. And a few other temples in the area. Each park has a, at least one temple. I feel like anywhere you go, any park uh, has at least one or maybe like four or five. Like here, it feels probably like five, six or where this temple goes. It's a temple grounds, yeah. So there's lots of temples. <laughs> Jacob, get in there. Grape. Так их много. A little cute can. Да, такая милая баночка.
This is a downstairs to be called sip. Oh. More casual and a cozy. That now is a light in light, but uh, 6 p.m. Yeah. Parmigiana sour. Got some yaki soba. I've been wanting to try this, and we already had one. It's pretty good. Now we're trying another one, and I don't know the difference. Is it the same? No. Okay. The same. It's not the same. The sauce is different. Uh, yours didn't have egg, and the meat I think it's uh, pork or beef, probably pork. Pork. And yours was with chicken. All right. There are over 160,000 restaurants in Tokyo, but for us it kind of felt like there weren't that many options, even though there are many, because so many options are the same. Like, there's many izakaya places down one street. So I would say just go online, look at different places, see what vibes with you, what drives with you, and 
either make a reservation or call ahead to see if you can get in. There are also some places that I think only let you in if you speak Japanese. We didn't run into that very often, but I think they do exist. The standard fee in some certain touristy areas is 500 yen, which isn't too much, but you have to pay to get in. But overall, getting into a restaurant, not too terrible, just have a plan ahead of time. And, and if you want to do shopping, everything is tax-free for anyone coming in. So if you want to buy your Gucci bag or whatever fashion thing you need, uh, usually you'll you'll get quite a bit of a discount. So like if you're buying a $1,600 bag, like let's just say an example, you probably would pay $1,100 here because of inflation and the price difference between the Japanese yen and the US dollar. Your dollar goes very far here. So everything is more affordable. You can either make, you can even make a trip just coming here to buy things and I think you'd make some money off of it. Tempo Kashachi. We got our own little kitty. One more. Two of them. There's like hundreds of thousands of them here. We got our own.